Hello everybody, thank you for joining me again today. I'm Lee from thecraftyspark.co.uk and today, in fact not just today, for the week and next week, whoops, so I'm just trying to unhook my paper trimmer from my tripod without actually moving the tripod. There we go. Alright, um, what was on about? <laughs> oh, this week, that's what I was going to say. This week and next week, we are going to be focusing on this lot of lovely goody goodies. It's my party. Now, this is the It's My Party suite of products that we have got in the new spring summer catalogue and it is glorious as you can see it's so colourful and although there's pink in there it's still for the girls and for the boys because it's such a bright vibrant pink it's great it does both and you can see there's lots of different colourways that goes with it as well you've got um, the mint macaron you've got black You've got Sahara Sand, what's the other one? Crush Curry, that's it. <laughs> I can't remember what it was called then. Crush Curry. So you've got girls' colours and the boys' colours. You can mix them together, have something very feminine. Mix them together, have something very masculine. So this is what we're going to be concentrating on. Now, if you follow me on Facebook you would have seen that I put a little message on there the other day to say that I have some exciting news coming up and I am going to tell you what it is I have had the really really wonderful pleasure of making friends with a lady in the Netherlands which again if you've been watching my videos You'd probably know that already. Anyway, her name is Sasha. Sasha van der Kerkhoff, to be precise. And she has just got the most amazing talent ever. So, I had this idea to ask her if she would do me the honour of being a guest on my blog. So, she'd create a project for all my followers and she will write the blog post and believe me she's amazing because not only does she have this fantastic artistic talent but she can speak English and Dutch <laughs> I mean come on I can't I can speak a, a few words of French and a few words of German and and that's about it really <laughs> but Sasha is amazing she can speak both languages so she has agreed to be a guest blogger on my blog. She's going to do a video for us. She's going to be doing it in Dutch and English. Oh, fun, dabby dozy. So, that was my original suggestion. Then we decided actually, let's go one step further. Rather than just doing one post, let's do a series. So this week and next week, both Sasha and I are doing projects around the It's My Party suite. So you can see some on my blog. You can also see some on her blog. She's going to be doing some videos. I'm going to be doing some videos. And obviously I will give you the link to her blog post so that you can go over there and have a look and I really 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 would recommend you do because she has got some absolutely gorgeous projects on her blog makes me very jealous <laughs> in all seriousness she has got some lovely stuff over there so please go over and have a look it is www.stampinsasha.blogspot dot n l very easy you can't really get that wrong can you even if you try but i will put the link for you under the video and on the blog post that goes with my video just in case you lose it but i wouldn't lose it if i were you i would bookmark it like i did very first time i discovered her 
and thought, oh my word, <laughs> this lady is amazing. So, enough about Sasha, let's look at what we're going to be doing today. What we're going to start with is actually this card here, because what I want you to wanted to do is I wanted to show you how simple it was, is rather I should say, to actually copy what's in the catalogue. Now, quite often when you see stuff in catalogues that um, have been filmed or videoed or photographed or, or whatnot, people quite often look at it and say, oh my goodness, that's going to be really hard. I can't do that. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get it in the picture for you. There it is. Look, isn't it cool? But this is the beauty of Stamping Up, you see. When you use Stamping Up, you can copy exactly. Oh, I've shut the book. Need to open that to make sure I'm getting it right. You can copy exactly what's in there, and it's really, really simple. So, shut up, waffling. <laughs> Let's get going, shall we? Uh, what have we got here? I have already cut some pieces of card. Now, this is the card base. Very simple card base. Just measures six by four. I have a bit of the paper. Oops, if I bring it back in. All right, so a strip of the paper that's going to go down this edge. I've got another card front to go over the top. Now, you could do it one of two ways here. What I'm actually going to do, I'll, I'll, well, I'll show you in a minute. But that's going to be going on the top. And then um, I have already threaded some of this lovely two-tone baker's twine through a button and tied a bow in it. A bit crafty really I did it like that so I wouldn't have to tie a bow on the video because <laughs> I'll probably end up messing it up <laughs> now, now the only time I came a cropper when I was getting this ready was I haven't got the washi tape which is on the next page actually look it's down here I haven't got any yet I'm waiting for my delivery and my delivery has been delayed <laughs> So I really wanted to do this particular one. So what I've done is that I've got my, my enamel dots to use. And then I thought, well, why not just cut some strips of paper? It's not as good as the washi tape, I know. But it's what I've got. So just going to have to kind of make do, aren't I? But I thought I will show you how simple it actually is to copy this. So what I'm going to do... If I just fold that back, I'm just going to leave that to the side there, like that, so that you can see it, and then you'll be able to see me making it as well. And then, with any luck, you'll see how nice and simple these things are with stamping up. Right, um, what else have we got in there? We have got some black ink, some crush curry ink some mint macaron we have got the little balloon punch now this is super cute look you get this punch so you get the balloon a cupcake and if my son hasn't come and whipped it oh no there he is I'm sorry dear a birthday candle and you get all three of those as a set of little punches to match <laughs> so cute isn't it i really like those i can see that they're going to be really really popular but for today we're just going to use the balloon um we want the stamp set obviously one stamp set now this is the party wishes stamp set and it's a nice rubber one so we're going to need, so what are we going to need? We need a block for happy birthday. So if I put that on there, and um, just in case you're wondering, that's one of the H blocks. And we want one for the balloon, which is one of the little ditty A blocks. Oh, I need the string as well, don't I? Which I will put on a, what's this one? G block. <laughs> Look at me with all my different blocks. <laughs> I like the lucky one. <laughs> right, let's move that over there. Get it out of the way. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do actually is I need a scrap of Whisper White. 
just that scrappy bit. Yeah, that's a scrappy bit because I just want to start off by punching, uh, stamping rather, and punching these little balloons. So I've got my mint macaron stamp pad. Whoops. Hang on, stick that to the block so that it can actually stay on the block. And we're going to have one balloon. How many balloons have we got there? Three. One, two, three. There we go. That was easy, wasn't it? Right, so that's those done. Um, oh, do you know what? I realised I might have punched that. Yeah, look. Stamped them too high on the card. Let's do that again, shall we? And this time we'll go a bit lower. So let's go to the bottom, which is where I should have done it in the first place, really, rather than wasting my card, shouldn't I? Never mind. There we go. Right. Um, no, that's a cupcake. Yep, that's a balloon. <laughs> right, so let's see. Line up. Punch out. Oops, it stuck to my thumb. Line it up. Punch it out. Line up and punch out. Easy peasy. Now you might have noticed, can you see there's still a bit of ink left on that card? That is because this particular slamp is slamp? <laughs> stamp <laughs> is marginally bigger than the punch, which makes it really, really easy to punch out. So there's our little balloons. Whoops, can't pick them up. There we go. There's our balloons. Fab. Now, when we're doing the card, what we will do is to start off with, I'm going to stick this on now. Where's my snail gone? There it is. So, all I've done here is I've got a piece of the paper and I've cut it to. Uh, I can't remember, a couple of inches, I think it was. Bit of snail on my, my worksheet. Hang on, let me just get rid of that, otherwise, I'll end up sticking something to it when I. There we are. Um, yeah, I was going to measure that, wasn't I? It is, what is it? It is a oh, one and three quarter inches by six inches because the card is six inches as well. So I'm just going to stick that right over to the very, very edge of the card trying <laughs> to get it straightish there we go that's better now let me show you something just in case you look at you do this yourself and think oh if you put whisper white flat onto a very very dark color it will create a shadow. Uh, just get my dimensionals out of my drawer. Yeah, it creates a shadow. That's normal. This is the thinner Whisper White. This is the thicker Whisper White. So this is the one that we use for the card base and this is the one that we use for everything else. So, to get rid of that shadow, you don't need to double layer this or anything like that. All you do is you stick it on with dimensionals and then you can't see it but I'll show you in a minute right let's go on to our base first now looking at this picture we'll try and do it as close to that as possible so to start off I'm going to stamp now the reason I'm going to stamp first is because if you're not used to stamping or you find stamping a bit tricky sometimes what you don't want to do is get everything else done on your card, then stamp it and it goes wrong. All right. So if you stamp first, then if it is going to go wrong, you can just start again and you've not wasted all your supplies. Well, other than a piece of cardstock, obviously. All right. So I'm just using our wonderful archival black. I'm going to try and do it in a straight line. I'm not promising. But we'll have a go. 
Now, if you look on here, it's sort of over to the side a bit, isn't it? So about there, would you say? Well, that's where it's going, isn't it? All right, let's just move that out of the way. Shut that, prop up hand in it. Right, that wasn't bad going at all, was it? Pretty straight, you think? Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Oh, I forgot to tell you, didn't I? By the way, this piece of card is six inches by... Um, one, two, three, three and five eighths. Six inches by three and five eighths. Sorry about that. Six inches, three and five eighths. Card, four by six. Strip, one and three quarters by six. All right. <laughs> now I've got that bit sorted. Right, next thing we're going to do is... What's that? Uh, that's like um, that's the stringy bit, isn't it? So I've just noticed there's a little bow on there. Oh, well, I hope I haven't got to try and draw a bow. Oh, oh my God! I'm not very good at drawing bows. I might have to um, just stick a bit on there for that. Oh, uh, covered it up. Right, I will try, but I'm not promising. So. What way up does that go? Does it matter, do you think? I don't suppose it does really, does it? So we'll go one, two, three. And then uh, glue dot, glue dot, glue dot, glue dot, where have you gone? Oh dear. Oh. I'll put them away. Always happens, doesn't it? A tidy up, can't find anything. Right, so let's just pop these on with our little glue dots. I might, oh, covered it up again, haven't I? Dear me. Always, does that go like that? Yeah, that's it, wasn't it? Slightly off. Oh, I see what I've done. Look, I've gone too far. That's why. Yeah, I should have gone more, more that way. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. Doesn't matter. That was the whole point about card making, isn't it? It's individual. It's not a exact replica because I'm not a machine. See, this is what I keep telling my children. It doesn't matter whether it's exactly right or not. You are not a machine, so don't worry. And they just look at me as if to say, Mother, you're so silly. <laughs> oh, never mind. I love my children. Best thing in the world. Right, this one as well. Now, in the card, because it's washi tape and they've layered it, it's made a really good effect because it's kind of let the washi tape show through. Now, as I haven't got the washi, that's why I'm just using strips of strips of paper, which isn't obviously going to give precise, whoops, the precise effect. But what I thought I'd do, I thought if I just pull a bit off the end, not quite as nice as washi tape, I know, but it's, um, it's not totally terrible. I hope. <laughs> so if I just put that bit there and then what's next? I think they've put the, the nice colourful one next. So that's the one I'm going to use. And if I just whoop, stick into my fingers. Um, yeah. So that one's gone next. That one's sort of about there-ish. Pull that bit off. And then this is our last one. The nice stripe. I do like this stripey one. I'm going to kind of put that there. Just a bit like that. That's it. Right, now where did I put that? Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Button. <laughs> Ah, oh, lovely. So we need a glue dot on the back of the button, and we'll just 
pop that on there oh where's my snips snippity snip snips Let's just cut those off made those bow towels a little bit too long there so get rid of that right what else do we need to do that's it oh no it's not no there's um some of the crushed curry enamel dots on there hold on let me just put some of these on any particular order no i think it's just a case of pop them on wherever you fancy really isn't it oh i thought i had another one on there <laughs> stuck to my finger come off my finger there that's it isn't it yeah that's it right let's put some dimensionals on the back and then we don't actually probably need that many dimensionals on the back did it but never mind um put my rubbish over here It's half term over here in the UK at the moment and I've had a house full of children for four days now not just my children but my children and my friends children oh today has been the first day all week where I've actually had a little bit of peace and it's so nice because apart from anything else it means I can get all my filming done as well and I haven't got a thumping headache which I have had all week because <laughs> oh, they're all boys oh my gosh they make a noise there we go what do you think do you like that a very very simple card copied from the catalogue almost except I didn't have any washi tape and we would actually call this a cased card case c-a-s-e it means copy and share everything because that's what we do isn't it we learn when we copy so copy and share that's what it's all about no, I quite like that do you know what just having to think oh I've just had a really good idea but I think I'll save that for another another video yes I'll save that for another video right okay if you would like to play along with me and the series of projects that Sasha and myself are going to be doing for this week and next week. All you need to do is go online www.thecraftyspark.co.uk where you can click on the link to my shop and you can buy the full set of products that I'm going to be using so that you can make all these projects as well. And a really good thing to know is actually I'll tell you about this now because it's celebration you spend 45 pounds you get a free gift yeah you know that right but if you buy the paper and the card and the stamp set you have spent your 45 pounds and you have got yourself a free gift just like that nothing and you can still make all these scrummy lovely things that I'm making so I would suggest you jump online get yourself going get yourself kitted out with the it's my party suite of products and then you too can be making along with me and Sasha for the next couple of weeks well next week in a bit yeah next week in a bit all right take care and I will see you soon